Good morning everybody. Welcome back to the Scuba Driver. My name is Steven. It is a beautiful day here in North Carolina. It's about 70 degrees. I've got the day off. Scuba needs some maintenance done to it. We need to do a uh, full synthetic oil change. I was about to take it somewhere and uh, realized I might as well just go ahead and do it myself. I've actually never changed the oil on any car, believe it or not. Never done it myself, rather. I've been around people that have done it to their cars. But uh, you know what? I gotta learn sometimes, so we're gonna change the oil on it today. Hopefully it doesn't blow up. But let's head to the store, let's get some good oil, and we'll come back. We can use my garage, change the oil. The idea of today's video is to not break my car. So we're gonna make sure we do it all right. And I'm gonna make sure I get some right oil. The door is getting smoother and smoother. I know I say that every time, but I promise this door only gets better and a little bit easier. Still kind of hard to pull down, but way, way easier than when I first put it on. Let's head to the store. All right, we are back from the store. Went up to Advanced Auto Parts here where I live, and they actually had a really good deal. Right now through September 25th, just to let all my followers know, they have a, any oil and oil filter bundle uh, for $34.99. That's full synthetic, any oil filter you want. So I went with the best that I could find. I went with a Mobile One 5W30 full synthetic. Got five quarts, got an extra quart, and I went with a K&N uh, high performance uh, gold oil filter. And of course I just had to get a little funnel and a little uh, uh, oil drain pan there. But like I said, what I thought that was a pretty good deal. $34.99, I've got the Mobile One. So we gotta jack the scuba up. Of course, I gotta put on some wood. So let's get this thing lifted up. All right, so we got the car in the air. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drain the oil. You'll be able to see my oil plug is right up in there. So I'm just gonna just slide this tray right under it. I'm gonna unscrew that. And all the oil should just drain right in here. And we'll do the next step. All right, while we wait on that oil to drain, I'm gonna take this uh, oil filter off here. Looks like it was a Fram frame oil filter for my last oil change. So put that down here, just for now. And of course, got the brand new K&N one. First thing we'll do is we'll, we'll wipe that up a little bit with a paper towel. Make sure it's nice and clean before we put this new one on there. I won't leave any too much stuff behind here. We'll clean that up, screw this new one. All right, so we'll take this K&N filter, kind of just hand tighten it here. Now we don't want to tighten it too much, but enough to where it's on there. Let's see. I think that should be good. Put my glove in on a second and make sure it's all the way tight. But I think we're, I think we're good here. Oh, looks way better. All right, now we got the oil drain. So next step, we're gonna throw this Mobile One 5W30 in there. We'll start with five quarts, and then we'll uh, see if we need to add an extra quart after we let the motor run for a minute. All right, I'll slowly pour that oil. Gotta always use that full synthetic with these cars. I'm just going to do a quick check, make sure it is not draining. Alright, got everything tightened back up. Got the full five quarts in the motor. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start it up, let it run, and see if we need to add an extra quart. We are out in the beautiful sun now. I think I'm going to add about a half, and, half a quart more and see, uh, see where we're at level-wise after that. But it's looking pretty good. I think she's gonna be running better than ever with this new mobile one here. All right, so we got about half a quart in there. I'll let that settle. We'll see how it is. All right, so we got the car running. It's been a few minutes. I'm just 
seen uh, any leaks yet. Looks like everything's nice and set. So all that's left to do now is we're gonna clean the car and we're gonna take it on test drive, make sure it doesn't blow up. Voila, just like that, the car is clean. So we're gonna take it for a quick test drive, make sure everything's running smoothly. Get this AC going, it was nicer earlier. Uh, one cool thing, the k and uh, filter actually comes with a little reminder sticker for the do-it-yourself uh, oil change. So it looks like we were at 97,700 miles. I'm gonna do every uh, 5,000, maybe a little bit before then, but we're gonna do 102, 7,000, or 102,700. It's kind of crazy to me. Uh, I can't believe that this car almost has 100,000 miles on it. Um, I feel like I just got it, and I've already put a little, almost 50,000 miles on it since I've gotten it. So really, really liking this car. So hopefully we don't blow it up. But let me know in the comments below, if I do blow this car up in the next couple of minutes, what should I get? Should I get another FRS or BRZ? Or should we get something else? I'm just kidding, it's gonna be fun. Let's go. So far, cruising nice, sounds perfect. It's driving even a little bit better, so it must have needed a nice little oil change there. It's got a higher grade oil in it now, so I think it should run just a little bit smoother. Also, if you're new to the channel, uh, just to let you know, my car is automatic. However, I never drive it in automatic mode because I'm funny and I only drive it in pedal shift mode, so. Well guys, the car is running perfect, and it's just a perfect day out here. I just have to say this is just a really good day off. Got the car taken care of, got it cleaned up, having a fun time driving out here in the middle of nowhere. Found this uh, Speedway, it's a couple minutes away from my house, it's the Concord Speedway. I have no idea if they're still using this or not, but it looks pretty cool. It says there's security cameras in use, or I'd have a little bit of fun out here. But uh, yeah, car is looking really, really good. It's running good. Anyways, thank you guys so much for uh, for watching today's video. Thank you so much uh, for all the support that you guys have been giving me over the past couple of months. Uh, I want to start doing a little bit, a few more things like this. Like I said, I know this is amateur, changing the oil, anybody can do that. But I've actually never done it before, so it's a, it's a win in my book. I put Lambo doors on a car before I change the oil, so I'm kind of going backwards a little bit here, but figuring it out as I go. I'll start, probably start doing a little bit more routine maintenance to my car and I'll try and get it on video. So if you guys do like this, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you can, just please subscribe to my channel. And if not, follow me on Instagram as well. I'll put my link in the description down here below. Anyways, thanks again for watching today's video. See you guys next time. Peace.